So you just decide to install Ubuntu onto your Chromebook and you decide to put Steam on there because you realize that my Chromebook can actually do a lot more than just web surf. So as you're about to play games like Running With Rifles, Half-Life 2, and a lot of other Linux games that are available on Steam ready for you, you realize the one crippling feature of your Chromebook is the storage. Now my Chromebook only has 16 gigs of internal storage. Now most of this is taken up by the Chrome OS operating system as well as Ubuntu. So to alleviate this problem, I picked up an SD card, which is actually coming in the mail, but for now I'm going to use my 8GB SD card that you see here. And the problem is, is that you need to actually set it up and mount it with a little trick that you can use right in Ubuntu. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So before we get started, back up anything you need off the SD card. So when I decided to format this SD card for Steam, I realized that in the Windows side of things, everything went fine up until I, I actually decided to install games on it and it said that it needs writable permissions to it. Now I worked around this problem by actually formatting it in Chrome OS, which essentially just makes it FAT32, which is or FAT32, which is a standard SD card file system anyway. So now you are ready to actually boot into Ubuntu and get this SD card all set up and ready to go to actually work with Steam. First off, open up Xterm or any sort of terminal that you can input text into. Now the first thing you want to do is type in sudo fdisk, then I put a dash L and that basically lists out all the devices that are hooked up to it. Now you'll see a few things here. Now what you want is sdb1, which usually, usually is what you're looking for for your flash drive or SD card. In this case, it is SDB1 for me, and it'll probably be that for you as well. Next, we're gonna make a directory to actually mount the SD card. Now you type in sudo or sudo, however you wanna say it, mkdir slash media slash, and you can name this whatever you want. I name mine storage, you can name this test or whatever you wanna do, just name it something, because you just need to remember it so you mount your SD card actually to it. Now the next line we're actually going to write sudo or sudo, however you want to say is sudo mount slash dev slash sdb1, which is your SD card, then space slash media slash wherever you decide to name your folder, which I name mine storage, so that's what I'm going to be using for this. So that's pretty much it. That's all you really need to do to get your SD card up and running. Essentially what you're doing is you're essentially tricking Ubuntu into thinking that your SD card is actually part of the system itself, not external, because Chrome OS still has a bit of control on the Ubuntu side of things. And this being said, you can't actually install Steam games onto the SD card on their own, just, you know, slapping it in and clicking install. So what you want to do is, is usually it's the bottom option. You just want to go slash media slash storage instead of your actual SD card location. As you see here, I can install Half-Life 2 that I was raging about before, or any other games like Magisite, which is one of my favorite platformer slash RPGs on Steam. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial on the Chromebook. I plan on doing more videos about this, so if you liked it, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you next time on the next video.